So first I need lotion because my hands look like the Sahara Desert and swatching isn't going to be very cute. Guys, you have to grab it. And it is drugstore. Really nice sheen to the skin and juices up the skin. Melt into your makeup. Blendability. Undetectable. Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be doing the next Best in Beauty of 2022, which is the cheek category. I have my little container here full of goodies, all of my favorite products, my most used, my most loved in the cheek category. So I am going to be doing my Best in Beauty of 2022 in categories, as I just mentioned. If this is your first time watching, um, then I have already done the complexion, the face, um, category so primer all the way to setting spray foundation concealer the whole shebang I will link the video down below but today we're going to be talking about cheek products we have cream contours we have bronzer cream blush highlights face palettes so if you're interested in finding out my favorites for the cheek then keep on watching also I do have a giveaway that I announced in my first best in beauty of the year and so I will remind you guys of how to enter um, so stay tuned for that as well but this year I was pretty selective um, I actually didn't try maybe quite as much makeup this year only because I had um, a baby six months ago and just things have been busy um, but in some ways that's kind of nice because then I'm not trying to like have so many options in each category like I'm truly giving you the absolute best products that I've used this year there might not be drugstore in every category and I do apologize I say this every year I'm gonna try more drugstore this year I did definitely try more drugstore this year but I do want to focus even more on it I just feel like um, having those affordable options to recommend are great and um, I did try a lot of drugstores some of them turned out fantastic and became my new holy grails like better than the high end but then there was a lot of duds in the bunch so um, I just have to keep on trying to find those goods um, so yeah anyways long story short if there isn't a drugstore option in the category I apologize but I'm really just giving you the best of the best in this category which is cream contour my absolute favorite is probably the Charlotte Tilbury uh, beautiful skin sun-kissed glow bronzer this is definitely a viral product that um, you've probably heard of because as i said it went viral um, it is a large pan face and body cream contour bronzer um, and i like this number one love the packaging it's beautiful love the big pan so if you are going to go in for body it's like very easy you can get a big brush in there and really it's done in no time i haven't really used it much on my body because for products like this that are very pricey I don't know, when you use things on your body, you use them up a lot quicker. So I personally am probably gonna just focus on the face because it is so expensive, but it is a fantastic cream bronzer and cream contour. It is a beautiful formula with a soft matte finish. It blends in like a dream. Definitely like give you a really nice like blurred, um, smoothing kind of effect it's really beautiful on the skin i love this shade which is one fair it has a really creamy consistency and then as you blend it in it goes to like a nice soft matte as i said so it's really really pretty it's blendable it's buildable it is extremely easy to use and as i said the shade is like deep enough that you can really contour with but it has enough warmth that it adds you know that bronzed look i'm wearing it today as my contour and i'm obsessed definitely hands down probably one of the best cream contours i've used in a long time the other one that i love is the nars um bronzing cream this is in laguna one this has a little bit of a creamier um they're both creamy to the touch and swatching i would say that this one just has maybe a little bit of a um, creamier look on the skin it's not quite as matte but both of them really just blend into the makeup beautifully and I find that the NARS is a little bit softer so if you're looking for something a little less intense the NARS is like as you can see upon swatch a little bit less deep so i find this one i like the depth of it because it's really great for those snatched looks but as you can see it still looks very natural like it doesn't look super intense i can use this on a natural day but this one's maybe just a little bit more natural um, i love this shade as well it has a little bit more warmth in it um, but both of them just are really beautiful they last all day long and they just melt right into the makeup moving on to bronzer powder bronzer i actually only have one that i've fallen in love with 
Um, and it is drugstore. So for those looking for those more affordable options, it is the L'Oreal Infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear bronzer. This is another viral product that just everybody has heard about. Similar to their powder foundation, same um, the Infallible 24 hour fresh wear powder foundation. It looks the same, but it is bronzer and it is so fantastic. I'm also wearing that today on top of the Charlotte Tilbury to add a little more warmth. It has a super beautiful smoothing um, you know, consistency to it and effect on the skin. It looks so um, like blurring almost. You know those powders that just are really um, blurring to the skin and give you that kind of smoothing and like effect that is exactly this so it doesn't you know emphasize texture it doesn't look chalky or powdery or patchy it's seamless it's smooth it's really really beautiful um and it's easy to work with blendable buildable pigmented the whole shebang so that's this one right there um, and i love this shade as well this is in the shade fair so those are my like bronzer contour options of the year hands down the ones i grab almost every time moving on to blush we have some cream blush options if you know me you know i love cream blush i recently did in the last few months i did a top 10 cream blush um, video which i have been doing my kind of top 5 to 10 um, videos um, i did also do a cream contour one and a bronzer one so i'll link those down below as well if you're looking for a few more options than just the ones i found this year um, those i go a little more in depth and give a few more options which is nice so the cream blush um i had 10 options for you so there will be an option for everybody in that video whether you want dewy whether you want matte whether you want liquid whether you want cream uh, but this these are hands down the two best cream liquid blushes I've used this year that I found this year um, and I'm obsessed with them. So the first one is the Rare Beauty Liquid Soft Pinch Liquid Blush. You're probably thinking, but Caitlin, this isn't new. Um, and I do actually have some in my videos that aren't new that I was like, honestly, nothing beat it. I haven't tried anything that's better. And um, formula wise, that is correct. Um, I love, 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 love this so much, but it's the shade that I love. Um, you already know I love the formula. It's this shade. It's a new shade that um, Selena launched this year and it is called Encourage. Oh no, this one's Believe, sorry. I also like the shade Encourage actually, so I will link both of them. It is a more like mauve rosy shade and I found her initial launch um, with the liquid blushes. I loved them. There was bright, there was warm toned um, there was a, like maybe one or two cool toned. There was deep, but I found the the area where I typically prefer, where it's mauvey, you know, neutral, those kind of like exactly this shade. Um, I was looking for this, and this is hands down my favorite blush by Rare Beauty, and one of my favorite blushes altogether. If it's intimidating to look at that blush right there, believe me, it is extremely blendable, extremely um, versatile. You can sheer it out really easily. You can build it up to be a super intense blush um, and it's blendable into the makeup really nicely. It is stunning on the skin. This is one of her dewy ones. You can also get matte, but I prefer her dewy actually. I just find it gives a really nice sheen to the skin and juices up the skin really nicely. It makes your skin look really flawless. Um, and love, love, love this shade. The other new one that I found this year, which did launch this year, was the Morphe Blush Bomb. This is a more affordable option, although Rare Beauty, honestly, is quite affordable for a high-end brand. But Morphe is one of those that kind of starts to go into the drugstore area. I know it's not technically drugstore, but price point-wise, a lot of their products fit into the drugstore price range. And this one is hands down one of my favorite cream blushes I've tried to date. It is a soft focus cream blush. So it has a more soft matte finish than the Dewy by Rare Beauty. It has um, a more like kind of that, um, you know how when things have a soft matte finish, they do have that blur. I mentioned it in, the, in some of the bronzer products, how it has that kind of blurring sensation. Um, to the skin where it just makes your skin look so flawless and smooth. This does do that. I find it kind of um, smooths out some texture. It just really flatters the skin. It melts into the makeup. I am wearing it today. It is an extremely natural cream blush. So if you are intimidated by cream blush, this is one 
to go with. It blends in super easily and it also is has the ability to build up to be a more intense blush. So I love that about cream blush. You can have such a beautiful like natural look but it, you can also build it to be a super glam look. And I, I really like that about this. It's super natural and neutral. Um, it's not super warm toned orangey. It's not super cool toned, like where you're verging on like the cool grayer undertones. It's the perfect kind of in between. I'll just watch it for you. It's really beautiful. The consistency of it is really nice and smooth and creamy. And then as I said, it kind of blends down into that soft matte finish. It works really well into the makeup and both of those last all day as well. So powder blush, this is a category where I actually was like, mm, no new ones. I don't know if I maybe, I was looking back and I'm like, I don't think I even really tried that many new single powder blushes. I kind of picked the two that I found myself grabbing all year long and this one is not new by any means um but honestly this blush is hands down one of my favorites for the shade i like the formula as well it's not super like innovative formula like the next one i'm going to mention is i love it specifically for the formula it is like incredibly beautiful on the skin this one is as well but it's the shade that i'm obsessed with this is actually the Kylie Cosmetics Pressed Powder Blush in Batty on the Block. This blush, every time I wear it, I'm obsessed with my blush. So as you can see, it has a nice um, formula. It's you know easy to use, blends into the makeup, doesn't look powdery, chalky, doesn't look patchy, um, but it's that shade. It has a beautiful pinky tone. It's not, it almost looks a little bit coral, but it's not super orangey undertone. It has more of a pinky coral, um, so it's really nice all year round. It's super flattering on the skin. I just love this shade so much, and it's just, I don't know, it's just beautiful. The formula is really nice as well. I find it's easy to blend out. It's easy to build up. It is 100% the one I've been grabbing this year. Now, if you're wanting to talk about a blush that is like next level formula, I love the shade as well, but I'm talking formula. That is the Pat McGrath. I believe this was in last year's video. So as I said, there's some categories that don't have new ones. This is one of them. But the Pat McGrath um, Divine Blush are fantastic. They're expensive, but if you want to invest in a blush that is incredible, I recommend it. This is in the shade Divine Rose, and you're gonna see it has almost like a creaminess to it like a cream blush, but it has the easiness of a powder blush. And I've talked to a lot of people who do like makeup, but aren't maybe quite as advanced, and they are kind of scared of cream products, which is normal. It's a little bit more next level. Believe me, once you start playing with them, they're not as intimidating as you think. But if you are one of those people that's like, mm, um, cream I'm not quite comfortable with, I'm more of a powder girl, then I definitely think you would love this because it gives you that beautiful creaminess of a cream blush where it has that like melt into your makeup, blendability, undetectable, like looks like your skin type look, but you can just literally dip a powder brush on top of your powder and boom, boom, boom. No, you know, you don't need to fear about it not blending in properly because it's cream type thing hands down one of the best as you can see it just has almost a sheen to it like it just looks like healthy skin if my camera will let you see it do you see that how it's like almost it just it doesn't even look like powder um, and the Kylie one once you blend it in doesn't like I'm not saying it looks powdery but this one is just next level like cream blush like look on the skin without having to actually work with cream blush. So I love that. If you're looking for another option, the Clinique um, Cheek Pop blushes are very similar in consistency. Um, and actually the ColourPop kind of are too. They're not quite as good, I find, but they're pretty close, the Super Shock blushes. Um, so those are kind of all the same, but this is probably my favorite formula. Love, love, love. And I do love the shade. It's a little cooler tone option for me, which I do love my cool tone moments. Uh, moving on to highlight. If you know me, you know I'm not a huge cream liquid highlight fan. I'm more of a powder highlight fan. 
but I do have favorites that I want to share. These are again, not new. Really, um, all the highlights that I have are not new. Again, it's another category that I'm like, mm, didn't really find any that I'm obsessed with, but these ones I still am obsessed with. So it just kind of speaks even more to how good they are. So the first one is the Merit um, Highlighting Balm in the shade Canva. It is a more balmy consistency. It gives you that really dewy, dewy look. Once you blend it in, it doesn't even really look shimmery highlighty but it just looks like that dew. So if you're looking for something that gives you that dew, this is the product to go with. It is one of the only products like that that I have enjoyed as an oily combo skin type. It doesn't break down the foundation. It doesn't, you know, make me look oily. It doesn't, anything that I would, associate with a balmy highlight it doesn't really do the only thing is i do like to put a little bit of powder over top of it just to kind of so it's not sticky not that it is but like you know what i mean like not dewy feeling and i do find that it still pokes through the powder which i love and that's i think why i love this so much liquid highlight is definitely the rare beauty liquid luminizer i have it in the shade enchant which i do really enjoy it has a bit of a pinky tone to it but it's really flattering to the skin. It has a beautiful finish. It works nicely on top of the makeup and it doesn't accentuate, accentuate, emphasize texture, or accentuate texture. And I just love it. I love it so much. So those are definitely my favorite liquid highlights and like liquid balm highlights. Powder, the good old Wet n Wild Mega Glow is still one of my favorites from my collection. It is the one I'm wearing today. It is so stunning on the skin. It is definitely comparable to high end and I have it in the shade Precious Petals. It has a bit of a golden hue to it, but it doesn't um, look like yellow on my skin. And it's just like one of the most flattering highlights I own. It is so affordable. It's definitely the one I grabbed the most all year, oh, even over my high end. That is the only powder highlight I have in my video today because it is literally just my favorite. One more category within the category, and that is palettes. So I like to share face palettes in case you're looking for something that's kind of like more than one product in in one type thing. So I will mention the One Size Blush Palette. If you are a big blush fan like me, the One Size 3D Blush Trio is so stunning. If you are into blush, you will love this because it has a cream blush, which I love that it gives you the cream option. It has a matte powder blush and then it has a blush topper, which is almost like a shimmery blush. So really, really beautiful. I have it in the trio called Very That, which I find is pretty warm toned, but really suitable for fair skin. Like this powder blush is phenomenal. I love the shade right there. It's so beautiful, blends into the skin. The cream blush is also stunning, um, which is right next to it there. A little bit darker, um, but really versatile, creamy, blendable, you know, user-friendly. And then I like this one actually more than I thought I would if you're wanting a more glowy moment. It's nice to pop on top. Um, or if you're just super into shimmery blush, really, really pretty, like super pretty. And it kind of, if you, if you want, you can even use it as highlight. Like I've gotten away without popping highlight on top and it totally acts as that shimmer and brightens up the face. So love this, hands down, one of the best palettes I've used all year. And then the last product is my Natasha Denona My Dream Cheek Trio. I'm so glad I, I wasn't gonna get this. I was just gonna get the eyeshadow palette, but this is so stunning. Guys, you have to grab it. The My Dream collection is hands down one of my favorite from Natasha Denona, and I've said that so many times. Like every time I get a new collection from Natasha Denona, I'm like, this is my favorite, but literally my favorite probably. I've mentioned how much I love the eyeshadow palette for just how much it offers the day-to-day, -day, everyday colors that to play with, but also the depth to kind of go more glam. The metallics are dreamy and creamy and beautiful, um, but the cheek, palette is also just as good the, her cream blush is phenomenal um i love this shade it again is more of like a neutral it has some warmth but not too much it has a soft matte finish to it it blends into the skin it's so easy to play with um, and you can apply it over top of powder honestly all of the cream blushes i've mentioned you can apply over top of powder the one i would be the most careful with is the liquid because it's 
it is quite pigmented. If you go into heavy over top of powder, you're gonna have a hard time blending it out. But if you just pop it on your back of your hand and like apply with a sponge, you can totally do it over top of powder. It doesn't break down the makeup. It doesn't um, go funky. It's easy to work with if you're careful. This one is very versatile over top of powder. I also love this highlight in the middle here. It's a cream highlight and it gives very similar vibes to the Merit Balm highlight. Um, it has almost like a balmy, dewy consistency, so you can go a little more natural with that one there. It gives you just that really subtle lit from within dew without looking like super shimmery, glittery, highlighty, beaming, kind of like a diamond type highlight. If you wanna take it up to the next level, you can either layer them, which is if you want the most beaming highlight, what I would recommend. If you want just a more simple powder highlight, then the powder is also phenomenal, beautiful shade, beautiful formula. It doesn't look powdery, chalky, doesn't emphasize texture. And again, as I said, you can layer them for the most intense, but still beautiful and not like over the top highlight. Love this palette. That is the last product of today and leads us very seamlessly into the last part of the video I wanted to mention is my giveaway. I am going to be giving away the Natasha Denona palette along with the cheek palette that I just raved about. So if you're interested in winning this, these products, then I will recommend you check out my complexion, Best in Beauty face video um, as I announced the giveaway in that one. So if you head over to that video, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, comment your favorite, um, product of the year in any category that you found on that video. So I will write this in the description of how to enter um, and have all the links. So it's super simple for you guys. Click the link, head over to that video, subscribe, comment, and that's all you have to do and you're entered. I will also in the description box down below have instructions on how to get some bonus entries. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe and enter the giveaway for a chance to win this makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and all of these beautiful recommendations. Don't forget to um, give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.